Aging is such a funny thing, isn't it? I think we all think we're never going to get old. The mind can't just accept that. And then we go along and we're feeling great. And we think, you know what? I'm beating this aging thing. I'm just going to stay like this forever. <laughs> and then certain things happen. And we kind of realize that we're just like everybody else. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And give me a thumbs up at the end if you enjoy this video. So when did I get my very first sign that maybe my body was not going to stay exactly as it had been? Now, I've been very fortunate in my life. I have had excellent health all of my life. And so that was another reason I just assumed that I would never get old. <laughs> but I think looking back, maybe, hmm, I was doing a Zumba class. I was in my 60s. And after the class, my knee started hurting. I had never had an ache or pain in my life. And I talked to the instructor. She said, oh, you need Zumba shoes. So I bought a pair of $100 Zumba shoes. Didn't do a thing because my knee hurt even worse. That's when I knew that I couldn't do Zumba. And that's when I started having a, some knee problems. So that was the first sign. The next thing I noticed was when I was doing exercises on my mat on the floor, instead of just springing up like I always did, all of a sudden I couldn't get up. <laughs> it was like, oh my, and I had to grab onto something. How embarrassing. Yeah, it happens to all of us. As the years have gone by, the aches and pains have increased and the stiffness is worse. And I'm kind of like waiting for the shoe to drop. Like, what's going to happen next? Oh my, it could be anything. Surprise, surprise. So how am I combating it? Well, after two months, PT really wasn't helping me. It was making me worse. So I decided to create my own exercise program. And I took the best of the exercises I had been shown, and I cut the repetitions in half. And then I added some free weights for the biceps and triceps because you know what happens here. And st I stopped wearing sleeveless clothing because of that. And look at this, this is just perfect because the top part of our shoulders don't seem to age. So we can wear these kind of tops and still look kind of cute without revealing that area that just starts hanging and looking not so good. So I also use uh, three or four of the arm machines in our gym, and I do some uh, exercises I was giving by a therapist that are specific to my knees with a stretchy band, and I touch my toes as often as I can. I take deep breaths, and it's turned into a 20, 25-minute program. And I do it religiously every other day. And I will tell you, pain is a great motivator for exercise because if I don't do it, I have pain. <laughs> have you found an exercise program that works for you or don't you exercise at all? I also wear a Fitbit and I monitor my steps. I decided to set my goal at 7,500, not 10,000, because I read somewhere for older, mature people, 10,000 is really not going to do any good. So I set it at 7,500, but I always go more than 7,500. And that makes me feel good. When I had it set at 10,000, I almost never met it. But now I meet my goal every day. So so setting a lower goal is not a bad idea. I remember my mother telling me when she was in her 70s that 
in her mind, she was still young, even though her body wasn't. And I thought, well, that's silly. Old people must be thinking old things too. Now I'm her age and I know exactly what she means. I mean, don't you feel just as you always did? We don't feel any different in our heads. It's only our bodies that feel differently. We still feel like that young person and we want to act like that young person. But our body is saying, oh, wait a minute here. Hold on. We got to slow down a bit. I can't keep up with you in the mind. Very interesting. I also remember my older relatives saying after they retired that all they did was go to doctor's appointments. And I thought, isn't that silly? So sad. Guess what? Yeah. Um, keeping a calendar with all the doctor's appointments for my husband and myself. And now we have the added joy of all of the text messages and telephone calls coming in multiple times, reminding us of our appointments till I'm ready to scream, click here, press yes if you are planning to keep your appointment. Oh, please let me alone. But modern technology. And I will say, I don't miss an appointment. <laughs> the other funny thing is that I noticed that I can't get my shoes on standing up anymore. I have to like lean against a wall. I was tipping over. So I solved that by putting two stools in my closet. Thank goodness I have a wonderful walk-in closet, but I have a higher stool and a lower stool. I sit on the high stool and I put my foot up on the lower stool to tie my shoes. Works like a charm. <laughs> now, I am on the early part of the baby boomer generation, two years in. And so I'm a little different from the older people that are here at my retirement community. And you can see this at meetings because, for instance, when they were planning to build an expansion here, the head of the library committee was adamant that the library must be made larger the architects had designed it to be smaller with a coffee bar and seating arrangements with low bookshelves. And the generation ahead of me really was upset about that because they wanted their library. And I was thinking as I watched this meeting take place that, gee, I'd like a coffee bar. And you know what? I don't really need the library to be bigger. In fact, I think I've only borrowed one book out of the library. Even though I'm an avid reader, I read off my Kindle. And the reason I use a Kindle is because I love to read in bed. It helps me go to sleep. I read in bed every night and I'm on my side laying flat with the Kindle and I turn the light on the Kindle down so it doesn't, you know, keep me awake. And that's what puts me to sleep. So, yes, I don't like paying all that money for the books. But, gosh, it really works well for me in many ways. It's just easier to use. So I was thinking I'd rather have the coffee bar. We'll see what happens if they ever continue with the expansion. It's been put on hold because of the pandemic, but I think someday they'll get to work on it again. Here's another funny thing. In the morning when I'm particularly stiff, if I drop something on the floor, I kind of stand there and I look at it and think, is it worth picking it up or should I just leave it there for a while? <laughs> Does, has that ever happened to you? It hurts to reach down and pick it up. Oh, well, I'm glad I can laugh about it because, you know, I think I'm really doing well at this point. Let us know your thoughts on realizing that you're actually getting old down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.